So, I'm Uncle Steph. What's the one thing that is going to destroy your software? The one thing that's going to destroy your software is feature creep. Feature creep are the creeping of new features and functionality into your software that was not initially agreed upon at the inception of the software project. Feature creep is typically seen in projects that are mismanaged where if you are a freelancer, you don't solidly put in the contract what exactly is going to be included with the software, every single feature, the buttons, uh, the revisions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This has to be clearly stated before you write one line of code. If you're working in a larger organization, it can even be trickier where management does not, again, control what exactly is going to be in the software. It's very important that at the very beginning of a project that you fight tooth and nail to be sure everybody agrees upon what exactly the features are going to be in the software. Otherwise, new features will creep in because management will say, oh, I have this great idea. I think this would be great to add to the software. And then the, and the developer will say, well, you know, it's kind of we're kind of busy, but I guess we could creep it in there. We could. And then another manager will say, we need more. We need more. We got to add this. Oh, and what happens is the non-programmer management suit types, they'll start thinking that they're amazing. They'll say, wow, I got this great idea. Man, I'm really good at designing software. Yes, I've been there. We're going to go way back to ancient times before you were even born. In the 1990s, I was writing software as a freelance developer. And I remember I started running into that inexperienced young Uncle Steph when I was just Cousin Steph. I was working on projects for my clients. And a well-meaning, thoughtful individual in of a client business, meaning the manager who I was dealing with at, at that business I was doing contract work for, they would in subsequent meetings say, hey, you know what, Steph? I came up with this great idea. Let's add this to the software. Let's add that to the software. Two, three weeks later, you come in to show them what you've done. Oh, that's great, but you know what? I came up with a great idea. We should change what I thought about last week, and we're going to do this now. Now, sometimes the ideas are actually pretty good. doesn't matter. Even if the ideas are good, you don't want to allow new features to creep into your software because it's going to balloon the budget. It's going to extend the timeline, and what will happen is your client will say, Steph, you know, it's been three months and you said this was going to be done in two months. And if you try to point out, but dude, you changed the requirements. You changed the specifications. New features creeped into the software. They're still going to hold you responsible. So that's why when you enter into a project, you have to make it very clear at the outset, on paper, so everybody can see it. This is the features. This is it. If there's any changes, they call that a change request, that has to be accounted for with a new contract, with the timelines pushed ahead, with changes to budgets recognized in that circumstances. The number one thing that I have seen since the 90s that will kill a project is feature creep. You don't want that stuff to seep into your project because it's going to be a nightmare for you. And even if it is your clients who are making all these change requests, they are going to have a bad taste in their mouth about you. They're going to blame you either consciously or subconsciously. And that's going to mean no more contracts for you, bad blood between you and them. They're going to hold you responsible because... Most people will not want to take responsibility for their own mess ups, especially something as nebulous and black box as software development. Remember that for most people, especially the suits, people who have never written a line of code before, writing software is a black box, meaning they have no idea what's going on. And 
a lot of times I have found noobs or the non-coder types, they will perceive that which is easy as being hard. So they'll look at a particular feature in, a, in the system and go, oh, that looks pretty easy to change. And on the flip side, they'll find something that is really pretty easy to do. They'll think that it's really hard. They just don't understand. So it's very important for you, if you want your projects to succeed, that you make sure it's very clear at the outset, you can't do it after you start it, you have to do it at the beginning, that the parameters of the project are well understood, the timelines, the amount of time it's going to take. Make sure that they understand that you do not accept feature creep, except in extraordinary situations and circumstances. They may say, you know, we really, we have to add this. This is so important, Steph. It's not just a nice to have, it's essential. And if that's the case, new contract, push forward the dates, the delivery dates accordingly. Otherwise, you're gonna have a failed contract, bad relationships, and it's just no good. You have to control this. You have to control this. A big part of managing software is managing expectations of everybody involved in the project, and it has to be put down on paper, at least in emails, everybody has to confirm they agree to it in, not verbally, it has to be somewhere on paper, best, signed, best, is best. Email back and forth is acceptable in certain circumstances, but be very careful about that and be very explicit. Don't assume they know what you're thinking. Don't assume they know that if they, if you add this new feature, that they understand that it's going to extend the timeline. A lot of times it, it, it won't because it's really easy to come up with brilliant ideas, quote unquote, if you're not the one implementing the work. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here to uh, crap on the business types, the suits as I like to call them. It's your job as a developer to make sure you keep everybody under control and you don't allow for that feature creep like bugs creeping into your software. Not a good thing. That's another thing. If you start adding new features on the fly, it's going to wreck your architecture a lot of times uh, uh, because you got deadlines that are pressing against you and it's just going to make a mess of the project. You got to control that. You got to control that. My name is Steph. If you want to learn about software development, you want to get mentored by somebody such as myself, somebody who's been coding since the early 90s, Check out UncleSteph.com. Links are below. Spaces are limited, but opportunities are unlimited. All right.